I am unbelievably excited. For the next seven days, I'm going to be kayaking down the Peace River Paddling Trail. I'm going to camp at night, paddle and float all day. I don't know how hard it's gonna be. There's alligators in the river. There's so much unknown, but I am also so excited and just so overjoyed to be back out exploring again. Actually, wait. I don't know what's supposed to, I don't know what direction I'm supposed to be heading. Obviously the water is going this way, but I'm pretty sure that's just the wind. Oh, I know. I'm supposed to be going south and I have a compass on my phone. Easy. Honestly, this is kind of a silly, unprepared mistake to make, but that's okay. South is this way. Here we go. Dude, wouldn't that be so funny if I just took off that direction like I thought I was supposed to. This seat, oh, this isn't really comfortable so far. But look! Wow! Some fishing line tangled up. When am I gonna see my first gator? That's what I'm really... <gasps> that was just a duck or something that wasn't a gator. <sighs> this is so cool! Look at those trees! I can still hear the noise of the road by me, but still... Oh my goodness, I'm out in nature! I officially can't see people anymore. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Nervous but excited. I put my camera away and then as I came around a bend, there was something on the surface of the water that splashed down really fast. Something big. So, very, like, 90% sure it was an alligator. It's definitely something I'm nervous about on this paddle trip, but I asked the, um, the people at the outfitter and they were like, we've never had a problem with it. Uh, my understanding is they usually stay away from people, but usually being the key word. So, oh gosh. Look what's up ahead of me. How am I supposed to get around this? Oh man, what if this really is the wrong direction? I'm scared to go too close because it could definitely be a hiding spot. But look at the direction the water is flowing. I think I'm just really doubting myself that I'm going the right direction. Just because like anything could go wrong. It's me all by myself this time and... I'm freaking out. I guess I could try to go over it right here. I don't understand. This is gonna be a risk to try to balance myself. What if it, you know, tips over and everything comes out? Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. I was not prepared for this big of an obstacle this early on. Gators, be scared of me! I know this part of the river isn't very well traveled, um, so that's why no one's come along and cut this down. Oh, goodness. Yeah, there's definitely not an easy way over here. I guess I could step mostly on this tree. That's deep. That is deep. I am definitely, I can't stand on the bottom of this. It's at least up to here. Whew. 
Worst case scenario would be I fall in and an alligator eats me. Second worst case scenario would be all my stuff falls out onto the river. Okay, big scary time. I wish someone would come along that I could just ask for help. No one needs to see me squatting up and down through a wide angle lens, so I'm just gonna put a tasteful blur here. This took about four minutes of huffing and puffing. I put my paddle in the cypress knee so it wouldn't float away and realized how in the way that was when it was too late. I don't know what I would have done if it was a bigger tree. That was really scary and really hard. If this whole trail is like that, I'm not gonna make it seven days. <sighs> I don't know if I can do this between the big scary alligators, the tr climbing over trees, this trip. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. Oh. Also, I really have to make a lot of mileage today because like, where would I camp around here? Never been a problem on this river before. We got it. Just gotta keep in mind, this is a beautiful place. Oh my gosh, this better not be a down tree again. No. Okay, there's a way through. Okay, this is pretty cool.
If my map is drawn to scale, then that bridge means I'm a quarter mile into the trail. And I've been paddling for an hour. So, that worries me. The river is at kind of a zigzaggy part, so I'm going to have to talk and paddle at the same time, trying not to, you know, brush up too much and run over the, um, I was about to call them reeds, I don't know what plant they are though. But I have very exciting news, we do have a sponsor for today's video, and that is Membrane Solutions. I have two things to show you today. First is their smaller filter, it does come on a lanyard so that's gonna be nice making sure i don't drop it in the water you know that'd be bad you could in theory take the little cover off and drink straight out of the water like this well i gotta take that part off too you could do that but i don't think i could get down close enough to the water to do that plus my kayak would be unbalanced so not going to attempt that another way you can do it is to take a water bottle like this scoop up some water you can see there are tannins in it which is what gives it its color Okay, maybe the putting on the lanyard right away wasn't the best choice, but we can work with it. I <laughs> know for next time. And then you have clean water coming out of the filter. With this type of filter, there are five parts to the process of filtering. They put a lot of work into making sure there's absolutely no impurities and making it taste as good as possible too. Membrane solutions. So easy, you can do it in a kayak. <sighs> That's a log, not a gator. That is a log, not a gator. <sighs> this part of the river is very windy and it definitely makes things challenging. You can't really see it anymore, but there was a pair of eyes of a gator swimming in front of me, and now it's hanging out by this dead tree. Probably where all those animals are. Kind of still in the marshy area. There was one sitting, sunning itself. It wasn't as big as the one that really scared me. It was like this big, maybe. But I looked at it. It looked at me. We were just staring each other down for a long time, so I was like, hello. <laughs> took the wrong turn. You can see somebody has a cool setup over here to the right. Some chairs, maybe a tree house or something. And that's the direction in front of us is where I came from. So, trial by, or was it? Yeah, trial by error? Error by trial? What's that phrase? But anyway, I wish there were more signs around here to tell me that the canoe trail is this way. And all that way, I just paddled for no reason because it's a dead end. I'm also really nervous about where the heck am I supposed to camp tonight. Another place where I don't know where to go. Honestly, you all, I'm really thinking of calling up the outfitter and being like, do I have any options? Maybe I'll just have to forego the money, but at this point, like, this isn't enjoyable in the least. It's not level two fun where I like, I'm going to look back and think it's fun. No, I am. I've seen at least 10, maybe 15 alligators at this point. I keep getting lost. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight. I don't know if I can survive these seven days, honestly. Okay, I am pretty much all the way back to the place I turned. I tried looking at Google Maps because you know you can't rely on phones, but you gotta use all your resources. Yeah, there's definitely not any outlet here. Oh, but 
back there, I felt something hit the bottom of my boat. And, you know, maybe I'm just being, being nervous and it was a stick or something that brushed against me. But I wasn't really moving that much. And I think it was a gator just being like, what's this? And oh, I'm just so freaked out, you all. I do not like this. I'm getting dehydrated because I just want to keep paddling and paddling so I don't drift to the sides. Um, oh, I, I don't know. We're just making it through today. I pulled over. Um, one, because I had to go to the bathroom, and two, just to, just to catch my breath, you know? I have been on high alert for almost three hours now, and I'm just trying to breathe, tell myself that, hey, you're only seeing a little bit of the full picture of what this experience is going to be right now. Yes, the first hour of this was terrible. I never, ever want to come that close to an alligator like I did the first time again. I found the Peace River Paddling Trail on a website, like a Florida tourism website, and they made it sound like, oh yeah, you could do the whole thing if you wanted to, just here's the place of where to rent a canoe and stuff. Oh no, I gotta push myself off. I don't think there's really enough resources out there about this trail and what it actually is. You know, I printed the map, I made sure there was no portages, I just kind of took it, took their word for it that this is something that people do where maybe it's something people do but very, very rarely and only if they know the area like the back of their hand. I just gotta breathe deep. Everything's gonna be okay. Look at this beautiful place. So many birds. Although I'm worried if I spend too much time looking at the birds, I'm gonna, you know, don't wanna take my eyes off the water for one second. But no need to think about getting off the trail yet. Just keep getting a taste for it. I think there was just a wild hog on that riverbank. This river, you all, I feel like I'm in Jumanji. What's that? There's a stick. Oh, there's a bridge. I'm hoping there is a ramp around here because that means I've covered six miles, but the map I found online is just made up because there's been that first bridge that felt like it should have been, I should have come to it sooner. There was another bridge that I didn't think was on the map at all, and now it's this bridge and no ramp. So, not too sure what I'm about to do, honestly. What's floating? Is that a log? Yeah, I think that's a log. No ramp. to the side for a break. <sighs> if you can see this map, here is where I started and here I am now. There are six of these maps. So, making progress. At the boat ramp, um, there was someone coming in to put their boat in. I thought they were gonna run me over at first, but then we got to talking and um, he said, there's more down trees this way. And probably the next day might be full of down trees unless someone's come out here and cut it up. 
That's a cool tree. On one hand, you know, when I'm on these solo adventures, I can't be too outgoing. You never know if someone may have some intentions, so I just try to keep it really, really low key. But that information he gave me was super useful. And he gave me some bug spray too. He said I'm gonna need it in the evening, which I'm really not looking forward to. Now that I know where I am, feeling more comfortable, I'm going to start looking for a place to camp. That guy told me about an easement down this way on the right. Not entirely sure what an easement is, to be honest with you, but we're going to do the best we can. I wonder if this is what that guy was talking about, because there's... There's definitely less trees over there, but it's also very tall grass. So, yeah. Well, oh, posted. No hunting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is it walkable? Is that what that means? Thank goodness I talked to that guy. He also told me that the gators are very docile because it's March and they're just not, you know, moving around. So that gives me a little more peace of mind too. Well, now this doesn't look too bad. It looks very peaceful. This could be a good spot for a tent. My head hurts so bad, probably because my eyebrows have been absolutely knitted together all day, worrying, looking out. Okay, so this is obviously a clearing. Looks very peaceful. I think this is going to be my campsite tonight. Glad to have that taken care of. I'm so exhausted right now. Good thing I brought this chair, not something I would usually, not something I would bring backpacking, period. But um, since I was in a kayak, you know, little, yeah, I don't have to carry something with me. But at the same time, because every time I'm just gliding, I notice my, um, my stern, my tail end, wants to always go out beside me to the right so i'm like i think it is imbalanced and just i needed i wish i hadn't have taken as much weight as i could but at the same time i took like a book a hammock and this chair and those are the only things that i wouldn't take backpacking seven days of food though what i wish i would have brought is money because on the way here um like the person that was driving me was pointing out oh there's a gas station that you can walk to from the river but i didn't think it was going to be like that i was the impression it was only like wilderness reserves and farms on the side of it so a little bit bummed about that also i'm worried about um tomorrow what if it's really impassable with all the downed trees over here if i had money i could be like hey i'll give you 20 bucks if you can take me and my kayak down to this place a lot of regrets honestly but right now i'm at a pretty cool campsite looking down at the water and i brought beer of course this first one I'm gonna try is called Florida Man. It is 9% ABV. If you don't know, that's very strong. So, oh, but if, if I have ever needed a beer in my life, I need one right now. Ready to just unwind. 
All right, Florida man from Cigar City Brewing. It's good. A very bold IPA flavor. It's technically a double IPA, but to be honest with you, I don't know the difference exactly. I just know it's a different style of beer. Luckily, this little cooler I have kept it warm enough or cold enough. Cheers to being done with paddling for the day. I was about to say done for the day, but <laughs> I have a feeling all these mosquitoes coming out and just the chaoticness of this trip so far is going to make it quite the experience. Another really cool thing that Membrane Solutions sent me is a gravity led water filtration system. A gravity fed water system. First part is another water straw. This one is definitely bigger than the one I attached to my water bottle. And then with this stuff, you scoop up water. It's six liters, so more than enough in most situations. And then once you have water in that, they recommend after you have water in it, then you attach this and this little thing. So cool, I wish I would have invented it myself. You just push this here and it locks into place right there. And see, it's also pinching it so water can't come out. And then when you're done with that, you, you want more water to come out, you just undo it. How cool is that? So let's fill up some water. Nice. Looks like you remove this and this little plastic thing. And now I have this bottle. This is going to be my clean bottle. That's the dirty bottle. And you can just undo this part and then let gravity do the work for you. There's like splashing noises coming from the river like every couple minutes. Maybe it's gators, maybe it's just fish that flop around a lot. It filtered out a lot of the um, tannins. Like I said before about the five different, um, different processes in the filtration system, they put a lot into getting all those impurities out, making sure it tastes good, but it looks like it does a really good job of getting the color to look more, <laughs> look more drinkable. Even though you can drink water with tannins, in case you don't know, it's just a natural thing that happens in some situations, but it's not perfectly clear, but it's very close to it. So with that freshly filtered water, I'm going to start making dinner. Probably the most um, involved dinner that I'm going to make. It's called Chicken LBL. LBL stands for Land Between the Lakes. I once worked at a Girl Scout camp in Kentucky that was on Land Between the Lakes. And this is something that they made. Oh my goodness. Where's my chicken? This was like the dish of all my campouts, backpacking trips when I was in college. Honestly, on one hand, it brings back the memories. On the other hand, it tastes like a bunch of random ingredients that college kids would throw together. Very glad to have it, very glad to put up my feet and eat. 
At the same time, interesting recipe. I'm about to go into my tent for the night. It's only eight, but I, I haven't been going to sleep early at all recently, so I'm sure I'm gonna be up for a few hours. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable at this campsite though. When I got here, I was, you know, just on guard so much, and now I've seen it get dark. There, I haven't seen any animals besides like birds stuff is flopping around in the river that's just how it's gonna be I am finally settling down and I think everything's gonna be all right but I have six more days of this so who knows what's gonna happen hope you come back next time to see how the rest of the trip plays out good night